it's gotta be Joe Robinette flying to his next bushcraft meet. Anyway, as you can see, I am not in the woods. I am in my backyard. Sipping on coffee. In between splitting some rounds I cut up. That wood that was in the backyard. Cut it all up. Now I'm splitting it. Well, working on it. I'm not working real hard at it, but I'm working on it. I just figured I'd give you a quick little axe safety tutorial. Yes, axes are simple, they're basic, they split wood and chop wood. But, it's they can pose a very dangerous cutting hazard. I mean, you, you're whittling away. You know, you're, you got your mora out. And uh, your stick of wood. And you're out here whittling away, you know, no biggie. You come back a little too far. And you graze your hand. So you cut yourself. If you're trying to whittle too fast, you'll cut yourself pretty good. Tomahawk or a hatchet on the other hand. You're chopping away and you don't get your hand in, out of the way, you've cut yourself a little better. Maybe even lost a finger. But with an axe, you're going to lose the use of an, a leg. So I'll give you a quick tutorial here. All right. So you're here in the ideal setting and you got yourself a big old chopping block. This, this is three foot. This is about a 26 inch splitting axe. This is a full size splitting maul. when you got a splitting stump. I'll show you without this first. Standing straight up, you catch the log. If you were to miss the edge, I'll stand over here, you miss the edge, it glances off, you lost an ankle. Now if you don't have that, and you're cutting down here, lost an ankle again. So the best way to do it, well, there's really no right or wrong way, there's just a safe and unsafe. The safe way is when you come down, watch my knees, when you come down, you kind of want to try to get this axe to land flush instead of like this. If you've been doing it a while, you know your distance, but if not, you line it up, and then that's where you stand. Got some knotty wood. And if you're good enough at hitting the same spot, you just do that.
There's a few knots in there. But see now, watch my knees. When you're out in the woods around other people, because the last thing you want to do is catch a branch or hit somebody else. And make sure the area is clear of people. Don't have somebody sitting right here in a lawn chair. Bad news. I hope you found that quick little video helpful. Now, most of you experienced woodmen, woodsmen and woods women and woods people. I don't know. People of the woods. There you go. And most of you are going to know that stuff. But for the new people, got to be careful with that. Don't, don't let an axe scare you. They can be dangerous if used improperly, but so can a vehicle. Uh, weekend Wanderer 3. Signing out. If you can, get outside. Enjoy the weather, even if it's cold. As uh, Corporal's Corner would say, if it ain't raining, we ain't training. But I'm not quite that gung-ho. So, I get out on nice days. It was uh, 30 degrees Fahrenheit this morning. Should be negative uh, 2, maybe, Celsius. And I had my wool on. I started cutting up. Used the saw. Started cutting up the wood, warmed up real quick. That's the thing about firewood. It warms you three times. Once, when you're going to gather it. Twice, when you're processing it. And third, when you burn it. Alright, I gotta get back to splitting here. I gotta split!